this here is a Model Y real wheel drive and it's the loaner vehicle I got currently from Tesla and it has the full self-driving computer with the software which means this car can actually navigate to wherever I actually want it to go on its own. I've tried the system, it is not perfect but it does do an amazing job, more than what I thought it could do. So I'm actually really impressed by it. So we're gonna put the address and then see how it will drive. So I've got the supercharger address and uh, let's just see how it does. So we're gonna shift it to drive. Now you've got this overview here for full self-driving. You can also turn this to be like the full screen here. And uh, yeah, I mean, it does pretty fast driving in the parking lot, which I'm not super comfortable with. But we're gonna make sure it's all good. So for now, it wants me to pull out of here. It doesn't wanna do it on its own. So what I'll do is I will get out of this parking spot beautiful graphics and it does show you your navigation from here now this here is a pretty sketchy kind of intersection because there are so many things that can happen I mean I could turn on right now and the car is trying to go it stopped but I took over because I'm panicking right now this is not the best one Right, so it's preconditioning the battery. Uh, this Model Y also does not have the parking sensors. I can feel the preconditioning of the battery pack for supercharging. All right, so I'm activating the full self-driving. Gonna make sure it's all good. It's taking, I don't know what it's trying to do here. It's gonna need to do a U-turn. Okay, so that was a bit scary because it tried to do a U-turn from the right side of the lane, okay? So what we'll do here now is we will activate it. It is 30 here, but it's going 50. We're gonna turn that off again. Let's turn it back on, but right now I'm gonna put it 30 okay manually you can still do that it's taking the roundabout pretty quickly and nicely accelerates pretty quickly and it ignored that I set it to be at 30 it quickly changed it to 50 so now it's 50 over here let's see what it does it says the 50 sign and it's still going 40 we're gonna turn this to 45 We've got a stop sign ahead. And let's see what it's gonna do. It needs to make a left turn. Indicates left. Stopping for stop sign. Okay, let's see how it's gonna do. There's two cars coming from my left and then we've got more cars coming from the right side. It's trying to go. And it definitely cut off that. I had to take over because there was a car coming. So it definitely cut off that car. So either I had to slam on the brakes and stop in the middle or I had to accelerate and take over. So, so far it's not doing actually that great of a job. So let's see how it does now. So we're gonna put the speed limit here to 50 because that's what it is. Right, so it wants to change lanes to the right but then it changed its mind because we did have a car coming from the right side as you can see here. Hopefully it's gonna get a bit better, but this is kind of a real world uh, trying the full self-driving out.
look at this beautiful graphic because it makes like this nice animation sketch of whatever is around you okay in 1.2 kilometers we have to make a right turn It is slowing down for some reason. I'm gonna accelerate. This guy used to be behind us. Now it's changing lanes here. I mean, the way it drives, it is still impressive. And we've got this kind of a problem with the wipers. Like last night, yesterday, I tried to use it and every time it was using the wipers like this and they thought it's like bad visibility or something. So now it's kind of doing the same thing. We don't have anything on the windshield, but it's constantly using the windshield wipers. So we're supposed to take the Stony Trail East. It's indicating. Right, I'm ready to take over at any minute. Again, the wipers went off for no reason. All right, so we have a merge going on here. So let's see how the card does. So right now, it's braking, and it doesn't have its indicator on. It would have been interested to see how it would be when we had more traffic coming from the left lane. But this is kind of how it's behaving right now, which is pretty good. It did a great job. So now it's set the limit to 100, but it's not 100 here for quite some time now. So we're gonna, maybe like a few years. So we're gonna put it to 60 here. Okay, so the sign that said 30, and then it ended up changing it back to 100. And then it's back to 30 again. All right. So the traffic on our left is coming, going around 60 kilometers an hour because that's the speed limit. It's kind of very interesting kind of traffic here. You're supposed to go 30 here, but they're going 60. And you're supposed to merge in between. So it just makes no sense with the speed limit we've got here. This lane is gonna end, so let's see how the car is gonna handle. And I will adjust this to 60 so that we're not gonna be impeding the entire traffic here. All right, so it's accelerating. And again, our lane is ending, and it, I don't know if the car senses that just yet. So it is ending, and the car has no idea. So I'm gonna take over here. So I don't know what it was gonna do. Was it gonna go from the shoulder? But definitely it wasn't too safe. I'm gonna take over, let this truck in. Or not, there we go. All right, so we're gonna put it back to 60. Got the wiper going off again. Now, when I was driving this during like the daytime, it was actually doing a way better job. So I don't know if nighttime has to do something with this. When I was doing this first time, it felt like it was doing a way better right now it's dark and you know again i'm not sure it's it's like my second day trying full self-driving and it is impressive don't get me wrong but there's just so many interactions i've got to take for example when i'm using the regular autopilot i don't have to disengage as often because i'm using it mainly on the highway and you know it, it does a great job as well so we've got a tailgater behind us right now and it's a 60 limit still, but everyone's going like 100 already. It turns 100 kilometer from here. So let's see how the car does. It did not see the speed sign, so we're gonna increase it manually here to 100. 
it looks like it knows now. Wants to be in the left lane, it looks like. It's vibrating the steering wheel. Okay, we're coming to the curve, which most cars actually still go here around 90. So let's see how the car does. Hopefully it doesn't slam on the brakes. So it's slowing down, okay, perfect. So he's driving like a human being so far. All right, that's how most people take this corner. Got a good gap between the traffic behind us, which means we're doing good. They're not tailgating us. Okay, it's slowing down for this curve. Again, very good so far. So driving like in the highway area like this, it does a fantastic job taking the exit and everything, at least with my experience so far. It's just the city streets is where it's still not there just yet. But maybe because we had so many full self-driving, like highway driving and lane changes and exits, it's already do it, learned from all that. So let's see how this goes. And again, if you want the map, you can still do so by having it like this. It still shows a lot of graph. It's crazy how much uh, performance the processor has like the the processing power of this car is crazy with the amount of details you can see as you can see so it's pretty cool again we're preconditioning for supercharging here here's coming up our exit we are supposed to technically change lanes to the right and then take the exit. We don't have anything around us. Okay, it's indicating to make the left, the right lane change, sorry. It's wanting me to touch the steering. Now, whenever you have the full self driving, making the turns, it's actually very difficult uh, to try to hold the steering wheel when it's actually turning. Uh, lane changes, no big deal, but like whenever it's making that turn, you kind of have to let go a little bit because it needs to spin the wheel, for example. It'll be interesting to see how the, the yoke does on my Model X because this one, at least you let it spin uh, like this, but the other one, you can't really let it slide around your hand. All right, so we're coming up here. Let's see how it does. It's doing so far good. amazing so far once I took over from like before that pickup truck wanted to merge into my lane uh, what happened was after that the car did a great after that the car did a great job I'm gonna quickly accelerate because we've got a car trying to make a right there so as a human being I would have gone closer to the car in front of me so that the car behind me could have taken the right turn uh, this car didn't want to do that I had to accelerate a little bit for it to happen so we're coming close to the supercharger here we got to make a right turn and then we have a kind of like a three-way stop I believe okay just kind of slam on the brakes right there so this car wants to make a left turn and if we look here the car sees the turn signal as well which is pretty cool all right so it's got our indicator to make a right turn got a yield sign over here It is making an unnecessary kind of stop, but it is making sure for traffic. Okay, made a quick left change, uh, left lane change. Got the supercharger right there. All right, three-way stop here. It's pretty interesting to see how it does. Uh, I think it's gonna stay stopped. So I'm gonna take over here, just accelerate. Now it did it. It's kind of does it way too quick to my comfort. <laughs> Let's make a right turn here. So it's supposed to do that. Okay, all clear. 
And then we've got, I don't know what he's trying to do, accelerator, accelerated right there. Okay, okay. And we're here at the supercharger. So let's see what it does. It's probably not gonna park or anything. All right, so we made it, so that's it. Now I'm gonna turn it off, take over, and then we're gonna reverse here so that we can supercharge. We're gonna quickly shift to reverse here. So that was like my experience here at nighttime trying out the full self-driving. So let's go plug in this Model Y real wheel drive and also see what kind of speeds we're getting. There we go. Should get a green light. It is a loaner vehicle. So it should get built directly to a Tesla. There we go. We're charging. And again, I only want to charge because sometimes Tesla doesn't have a vehicle to give out for loaner. And I don't want that to be the case where they have to give a car back with like 20% battery to the customer and they can't give it because they don't want to give the car with 20%. Maybe it's not enough for the customer. They have to make a stop or something. So I'd rather do it and then go pick up my car. They're closed anyway, so it's an after hour pickup for my car. But there you go, we're charging at 105 kilowatts. It says 35 minutes. And that is to get to 80%. You can make this to 100%. And it's saying that should take 50 minutes. All right, so that's what it's showing up here. So 50 minutes, 100%. We're dropping down to 92 kilowatts. This is kind of the autopilot settings. We've got traffic aware cruise control, auto steer beta. This is kind of all the other Tesla autopilots. They're the auto steer beta, but then we've got the full self-driving beta. Autopilot has been disabled two times due to improper use. FSD beta will no longer operate if autopilot disabled five times. All right, so double pull you've got the full self-driving beta so you've got average which is in this profile your model y will have a medium following distance then you have assertive in this profile your model y will have a smaller following distance and perform more frequent speed lane changes and you have chill in this profile your model y will have a larger following distance and perform fewer speed lane changes all right so i tried this on average and we've got lane change notification so you can make it to chime vibrate in my case i have both minimal lane change for current drive you can do that so it does a less job at changing lanes doesn't quickly do that too often uh, automatic blind spot camera blind spot collision warning chime uh, display speed limit chime and all that kind of stuff so this was the uh, settings here for this model y so that's pretty much it guys hope you enjoyed this video if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one